Here you see an example of a tomato plant that was grown in very bad sunlight over the course of the winter in a pot. It was started in a Leo sun and Leo moon, and the plant was so strong it could survive the winter in a pot. But in order to see if we can keep it alive for the rest of the summer, we're going to have to trim it down and start it all over again. As you can see, I've cut it down to basically what I consider an ear root. In biodynamics, we know we have the regular root of a plant, and then you have the central stem, which is sort of the heavenly root. This is the connector to the heavens, and this absorbs energy from the stars and planets. So in all plants, we have an earthly root, and we have a heavenly root. The stalk itself is its link or circuit to the heavenly constellation that creates this plant. I had to destroy the rest of this in order to get down to the basic heavenly root, which is this stalk. Okay, Gorgas. Okay, this is the residue of the top of the tomato plant that was grown this winter in very bad sunlight. We started August of, 19, of uh, 2008, and here it is, 2009, April. If it had good sunlight, it would have been considerably more tomatoes, and the tomato would have been healthier. Now what I'm going to do is take the plant and transplant it and see if we can bring it back to life this summer. The earth root, which is what I just described to you as the air root or heavenly root, take the plant, put it in the ground. Now I'm going to key everything off this heavenly root these two little sprouts coming from the stalk, or you can consider the stalk the cosmic root. Remember how I told you that all the stars and planets have gravitational poles, magnetic currents emanating from them, and all plants are a system of all the heavenly forces in conjunction with the earth. So what I'm going to do now, cover the plant, expose only this part of the stalk to the sun. We turn the root structure itself, the earthly root, to the soil. Now this science is a key, not only for agriculture, but for every science on the planet, in that it, it's a way of us measuring the heavenly forces that permeate the entire earth all the time. So by studying the biodynamic agriculture science, it leads into other sciences.